let's talk about folders and sharing folders in Google Drive. It's probably a good idea if you've got a whole bunch of documents that you need to share with a set number of people to put them into a base folder and then organize them into subfolders. You can see here I'm in the IT committee this year, so I've created a base folder and then I've put in a lot of subfolders inside that folder. What I've done is I haven't shared all these separate documents all the time, like minutes every time we have a, have a meeting, I don't share it constantly. I've basically shared the subfolder, so anything inside that folder is viewable and editable by the people in the committee. So how does that look? How do you do it? And how do the people view that subfolder and that, that shared folder? So if I'm going to create a folder, make sure I'm in my drive first, or else it'll go into the IT committee. Create folder. I'll just call it a whatever. And inside that whatever folder, I'll create a subfolder. Just so let's call it sub whatever folder. All right. So I have the whatever folder, and I have a subfolder inside that. So as this document, that this as this folder gets bigger, I don't want to be starting to share every single thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to share the base folder. So I'm going to click on the arrow. I'm going to go to share and share. For this example, I'll share it with Sharon Skirtik. I'll give her editing rights. Share and save. So she can then edit stuff inside this base folder. You can see now there's a little person on that. That means it is shared. So let me go to Sharon's inbox. She should get an email from the owner of the folder. Click on it. So it's very important to click on the email that you get from the person who owns the folder because when you click on the doc, the folder inside, it'll give you an option then to add it to your drive. That's very important because then it'll be listed under my drive and you won't have to go to the shared with me area all the time. So I'm gonna click add to drive and then I'm gonna click open in drive. So we can see now that the whatever folder is in Sharon's my drive area.